Hi and welcome to my channel Aqua Splendor. My name is Nicole Marion and I do weird aquarium video time to time and this one is unique. So here a timestamp for the reference so you can also check in the comments or description for some links. So this video is about Ecotech Marine Iridium G5 Pro with different T5 combination and all the data that you need to know to make your personal choice. I hope you will find this video very helpful for you. As you can see, I'm going straight to the point with the visual. Uh, I know what you guys want with this topic, so I avoid any non-essential uh, footage, blah blah blah, etc. So, uh, hey, uh, yeah, uh, YouTuber going straight to the point is uh, it's a rare species, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's I guess that's what happens when uh, someone don't really care about making money, I guess. I don't know, hey. So this video was made with the purpose of documenting the difference between T5 and which one you might prefer. Uh, I did all the combination possible with two different uh, tube uh, combinations. Uh, I couldn't make with three, but I think this video is more than enough to help you to choose if uh, you go for the third option. So my list of hardware that I used to make uh, this video, uh, the first one was the Aquatic Life uh, Hybrid Fisher. I really love that thing. Uh, it has been so practical for my knees and I never had any issue with that. So uh, I recommend that thing for anyone. And I wish they had like a third option for like making like three, uh, like three combination. Uh, we'll see in the future. Then after that, I used the Radeon G5 Pro, the XR15. Uh, for, so for those one who have like the XR2D Pro, like the bigger one, uh, it's basically like exactly the same stuff. It's just with more LED, uh, so there was like no point for me to have uh, to have it for this setup. Uh, the spectrum are identical. Then for the T5, I used the Gizman. They were kind enough a long time ago to send me their full collection by my request. I told them that I wanted to create unique videos and I gave the list of all my intention. But the thing is, I was waiting for a real camera to create uh, this kind of video. And all this time I've been using the, my cell phone for other kind of video that was good enough. So I think for a good two years, those T5 was waiting in the MT aquarium. Uh, so a big thank you for Gizman to uh, be really patient with me. Uh, and they were like really kind. They never put any pressure on me. So I'm very thankful for that. In the past, I used the ATI T5 bulbs. Uh, honestly, good stuff also. But I wasn't able to make any deal uh, with them and I can't really justify to buy all the T5 from all the company. Uh, it's a lot of money for me. So, um, But I, well, here's what I think. Uh, I believe that uh, they, they maybe use the same kind of factory or same source uh, from like the Gizman. So I think you could replace the model name with uh, the label from the, the Gizman. But I'm not 100% sure of this information if it's correct or misleading. Uh, but from a past test that I did a long time ago, uh, the, the two T5 bullet I test, they, they were like very, very similar. Uh, if that information is wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, we, I just want to share the information with everyone on the Rift community. I have to say that I'm very pleased with the Gizman T5. I have absolutely zero complaint about their T5. Uh, they, they were like a charm uh, and I've been using them for like a, a year. Uh, and I actually, I buy the RT5, um, the one that they sent me. I'm not using them for my personal aquarium. Uh, I use only the RT5 that they sent me for doing this kind of video because we all know that T5 have longevity. So I didn't want to like have a corrosion data because I'm showing like the power, I'm showing like the spectrum and stuff like that. So I didn't want like to, to have uh, any effect uh, on that regard. So of course, uh, this video is about a uh, visual. So for the camera, uh, I use the Sony a7 III with a 24 mm GM at the 5.5 aperture, a speed of 60, ISO at automatic, manual focus. Uh, for the color, I use uh, a white balance of 9,900 Kelvin for everything. Uh, I haven't editing any of the video, so the color, uh, what you see is what I got directly from the file, uh, no editing whatsoever. And the reason why I didn't edit any of my video is because I wanted it to be fair with all the T5 uh, color and stuff like that. So, um, because probably the, the visual what you see is more blue or more uh, maybe magenta or, or whatever, but the goal is, is to be fair with all the, the visual uh, comparison. So I just set a point of 9,900 Kelvin 
and from that uh, I just uh, record all uh, the, the, that, the visual and the files. So I think it's the best way to, to be fair with everyone. Um, of course, uh, what you see in real life is not the same thing uh, with what you see with the visual on your phone, on, on your screen, whatever. Um, it's totally different. Like I, I see like this more sharp, it's like more brightness and stuff like that. But I can't really, it's impossible to replicate uh, what uh, I see with my eyes. So this I think is give um, a good enough uh, comparison, a fair comparison with all the T5 in a real world situation. Uh, I, of course, I made the white sand. Uh, I have a white sand, so that helped a little bit to to give you an impression. And also on my wall, my wall is a little bit uh, beige, uh, but when it's a dark room, you can't really tell. But it, it helped to to visualize the difference of the color shift between all the T5. So I made two kind of footage. One was a little bit far away. So we can have a, a overall impression with the full aquarium and another one with uh, a close-up from one of my crawl. This is a Blastomusa Merletti, if I pronounce that correctly. So it gave you uh, like a little bit uh, more data, more impression. Maybe I could, I should or could uh, record another crawl, but uh, I don't, I'm not like a crawl farmer, so I don't have that much crawl to close up with a full frame of my camera. Uh, maybe I could I use the desoranted or stuff like that to show a little bit of red uh, but that's something uh, I want to know from you guys I'm very curious if you have any feedback it's always welcome on the bottom left part of the screen uh, there's the PAR number that PAR number is completely irrelevant by itself but the reason why I put that number is to show you the comparison between uh, the T5 but don't pick that number to uh, to use it for your aquarium. Uh, this was just a point of reference for comparison only. Eventually I'm gonna make a video about the T5 alone just by themselves, but for now it's with the Radeon. And also you notice I always show the spectrum. Uh, I don't own a spectrometer, I really want to have one, but they are, they are super expensive. So what I did, I took the spectrum uh, from the website of the company and I just overlaid them. And what I did, I just did some uh, correction to, to make sure that they, they match together. They are not super accurate, but they are, I think they are good enough to give you an idea uh, overall. All right, now for my recommendation T5 mix with the Radeon G5 Pro. And this is only my personal opinion and with my preference and with my instinct. Uh, since I don't own a spectrometer, it's a little bit hard for me to, uh, to back up my opinion. But if you have a different one, please, please, by all means, let me know down below in the comments uh, on the YouTube section. Uh, and just explain me why you prefer something else, a different combo or something else. Uh, and to be fair, all those T5 are good, but I think there's two combo uh, options that stand out that could benefit to make the spectrum a little bit uh, more larger and more filter for the coal. So here are my two option recommendation. Option number one is the Super Acne T5 and the Super Purple T5, which is actually the combo that I use in my reef aquarium. Uh, in my opinion, Super Acnic is a no-brainer for any hybrid fixture because most of the LED company don't put real UV diode and I think it's something that the Radeon G5 are lacking of. Uh, I, can, I can't prove it, but I could see a good benefit adding the Gizman Super Acnic. The Super Purple, I will say, is a little bit more debatable, uh, but I do like it. I love the look it gives to the corals. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it has some pick in the spectrum towards the orange-ish and a different type of green that Region D5 Pro LED doesn't have. If my spectrum chart is correct, it will also mean that it brings a different type of blue spectrum that will greatly benefit uh, the corals. For the option number two, it's again the Super Acnic. By the way, be careful to not expose your eyes directly to this one because it's dangerous. Uh, and for the Gizman Acnic Blue, the reason why is because that bulb is the core of what the corals need. Uh, it has been proven over the years that it's the best T5 bulbs to grow corals. The Radeon G5 Pro, I think, bring almost the same kind of spectrum, so it could be debatable to put that acne blue, but at least it cover a larger area and avoid any shadow. 
If you watched this video that far, thank you so much. Uh, this video took me a long time to make and I have three more videos to come with other LED reef light. Since it's the first one, I'm currently looking for feedback to improve this format video. So please be generous on your comments. Uh, all critics are welcome. Uh, on that, thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.